I'm Chris Shattuck and this is How to Work with CSS. In this chapter we use CSS to solve several look and feel problems, such as wrapping text around images and hiding breadcrumbs. Along the way we explore both Firebug and the CSS injector module. You've come this far and it's time to give yourself a pat on the back. You've learned a lot about how Drupal works, about how to work with its major configuration options. You've learned how to work with modules, the core modules that come with Drupal, as well as contributed modules that you can download from Drupal and integrate with your site. And you know a lot about the various components of Drupal. You know what content types are, you know what nodes are, you know what fields are and how they integrate with content types. You know what views are and how you can use views to create a list of content. You know how users work and how to manipulate permissions for the users. And that's just part of it. There's a whole lot more. From here on, the tone of these videos is going to change a little bit because we're going to be tackling some of the nuances of getting a site to look a little bit more like what you want it to look like ultimately. What we've done so far, we can do through configuration. And from here on out, we're going to be integrating some CSS or cascading style sheets along with our configuration changes. What this means is that if you're not familiar with CSS, that some of these things may be new to you. And some of the attributes that we use in CSS might seem a little foreign or strange. And if that's the case, don't worry about it. Just let it sink in a little bit because the only way that you'll get familiar with CSS is by seeing it in action and knowing what you can do with it. If you are familiar with CSS and you use it often, then these next steps are going to be pretty straightforward. Another thing that's going to happen is that we're going to run into some issues. Before this point, we've been able to tackle issues in a pretty straightforward way. We simply install the right modules, change the configuration slightly, or adjust our structure. But in these next sets of videos, you'll see that sometimes we go through the process of installing and configuring and integrating a module only to find out that there's some aspect of it that doesn't quite work with what we need. And so we have to go a completely different route with a whole different module and integrate that as well. This is just part of the landscape when you work with a Drupal site. You'll head down certain paths for a while and then you'll find out that it was the wrong direction and you'll backtrack and you'll go down another one. And it's important to consider these dead ends as an integral part of your learning process. This is how you get a sense of what's out there, of what works, of what doesn't work. And so hitting these points of failure is actually a big success. You've learned something that doesn't work, and you won't make that mistake again. So in the next few steps, you'll get a sense of what that looks like. We'll try some modules, they won't work, and we'll try another one that will. And when we're done, we're going to have a site that looks exactly like our mockups, which was our goal from the start. 